we have probably all been there. Uh, there's a new set rotation, there are some bans, or you are just looking for a new deck, and you want to build one of the top of the line decks. But the problem is you don't know how many wild cards it would require. So you're looking at something like Yorion. You see that it requires 55 rares and 4 mythics. Uh, you remember, yeah, maybe I have uh, this card, I drafted one of these cards. Uh, and you wonder, should I build this? So one cool thing and feature we have added on Eatrub is the compare function. So if you click this, you can see that if you have this extension, you will be able to see how many cards you need. And we also go a little bit further than that. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm in the game, and MTG Assistant launches automatically. Uh, it's available up here. We have a lot of options, and today we're gonna look at the meta functionality. The cool thing about this is that this extension downloads all the meta deck lists from Etherhub. Uh, for each format, and it does this every 24 hours. So if you go in here, uh, it will download all uh, the metagame li uh, deck lists, and if you go in here tomorrow, it will update. And it automatically tells you by comparing to your collection, your local collection, which, how many wild cards you are missing, or if you have all the cards. So I know for Mono Red, I have all the cards. There are obviously different builds of this, so it only compares to the newest build. I'm pretty good here with many of the decks for the control decks that I'm not have not been playing recently uh, I'm missing uh, m the most uh, wild cards so I might want to stay out uh, of those and scrolling down yeah maybe I want to build a top uh, top list or maybe there are some other decks that I prefer playing that I would rather play if I had the collection for it and you can look at other formats so this one is best of one well, this is traditional standard best of three uh, but let's look at Brawl, for example. And you might be surprised with how many of the strong decks you can actually build. Uh, in Brawl, you only need can only have one of each card. So uh, it's actually not really hard to build all the, these decks. But it's really hard to know when just looking at a deck list what you can build or uh, what you can't build. So if I open the deck uh, from this view, uh, this will turn green which means that it is now usable. So as you can see, this is the complete deck list here. Uh, I go into compare and it tells me that I'm missing the Triome and a Skull Prophet. So we'll see how this works. I'm gonna go to export and export to MTGA format. Um, if you are Japanese, you can click this and it will automatically convert the deck list to Japanese. That's uh, quite cool. You can select any other language too. I'm going to stick with English. Copy this deck list. Uh, and this is a browser within the extension. So this is not your normal browser. I'm just going to close this and uh, let's head over to the decks. Import. Here it is. So. Missing one scroll profit, and there should be a trium missing too. There it is. Uh, I'm gonna click craft all, and as you can see, ah, yes, indeed, I'm missing one uncommon and one rare. So, quite cool, eh? And with this, you kind of don't have to open the website to, to check what the newest things are, you have all the functionality inside of the game. Uh, as well as a deck tracker and a draft helper. It's so easy to get an overview and see what you have and what you don't have and what you can build and don't waste wildcards or waste time copy pasting a crap load of deck lists. Uh, recently Wizards added a cool new feature uh, where you can just hover and see what cards you're missing. This kind of helps a little bit but you still have the problem of you have to import several lists and check uh, with this. Just a button click and here the meta is. We also have the tourney meta lists here um, for traditional standard. Uh, so with modern, uh, there's no uh, function for comparing. When we get Pioneer in MTG Arena, we will add, uh, add it comparing the tourney lists. 
but we also have a MTG Arena meta game for the Pioneer 2. So the difference here is that these are tournaments posted on tournament websites. And this is the meta game directly from the MTG Assistant. We pick all the decks with high win rates over 30 plus games and events where you go 7-0 and compile them into lists. I'm just going to show you one other thing. And as you can see here, there are 120 decks uh, in this group. So this will only show you the most recent one. If you want to look at the older ones, you can browse through this. And here there might be some decks that uh, you actually don't have the cards for, because the lists might differ. So there's a lot of room here to explore and to pick the deck that you actually have the cards for. And it's very easy with the MTJ Assistant. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, share it with someone and let them know about these awesome features. And I'll catch you in the next video.